Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Moltrop here, bringing you game three of uh, Con vs. Stars, and third time is hopefully the charm. I started this game to uh, commentate it three uh, two times before this. This is the third time I've tried to, and uh, it keeps like freezing at 57 seconds, but this time. I like loaded it and backloaded it on YouTube and stuff, and um, then I loaded it from the beginning again, and then waited for it to go through 57 seconds, and it seemed to work, so hopefully it'll actually work this time, and uh, <coughs> if it doesn't, then you guys won't be hearing this anyway, because I'll start over again. Um, anyway, this is Free versus Jangby. and first of all, I gotta say, I'm really, really, I'm rooting for Jangby in this game. Um, for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, because the whole reason I wanted to watch this set is because I wanted to watch Stork versus Zero, which is set four. And if <coughs> if Free beats Jangby, then it'll be three zero in favor of the Stars, and uh, we won't even get to see Stork play or Zero, and um, that would be a tragedy because really that's the whole reason. That's the only reason why, well, the main reason I was looking forward to this set. Um, this should be a good game too, though. Um, Free and Jangby, two of the top Protoss players ever, and um, <laughs> Starcraft is a good sport to be able to say stuff like that. It makes it sound more epic to be like two of the greatest Protoss players ever, because it, you know the game evolves constantly. So to be at the top of to be anywhere near the top means that you're already one of the best ever. So, you know, that's why I can say that. Sorry, if you guys aren't getting too sick of me stopping to blow my nose every once in a while. <laughs> um, anyway, by the way, Jangby the 12 o'clock position, Protoss in purple. Uh, free is the uh, sort of teal colored Protoss on the left side. And, uh, yeah, call blue. And, um, <coughs> Protoss, uh, it's good, looking good for Jangby so far since it's got the color purple. Um, yeah, I said that in a. I came the other day with Bisu, I think, with purple in it, and uh, something like that, and I said that that was an advantage. So I was like, what? What are you talking about? It's an old joke, um, kind of a joke, where I had this color theory where some colors were more powerful than others, and it, it came out of the fact that um, when Stork um, played against Bisu in the semifinals of some Star League, um, he was purple like three times in a row, and he won all three games. It was, it was amazing. And then like he played against... Um, <coughs> <laughs> using the um, probe to kind of interrupt the mining there, by the way. Um, a cool trick that I actually, for some reason, I don't see players do that often, but it's a really good trick to do. You mine the patch, and then you stop, and then you mine the patch, and then you stop, and you never collect the minerals, but you keep mining the patch, and it occupies the patch, because only one probe can, can mine a patch at a time, and uh, it keeps the patch from being mined from the other players, um, uh, mining you. And oh, he's gonna go for a manor? No, no manor pile in there from uh, free. And uh, it's really, it makes a lot of sense because uh, there's only nine patches usually at a normal spawn position. And, uh, you know, so if you can take that down to eight, that's actually pretty significant. Um, cut in production, especially early game. And, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, yeah, nine on this map. Um, and I actually saw Toss Girl do that. Toss Girl was the first person I saw do that. Oh, yeah, that's clever. And there's a Manor Pylon. Nice. Catching a few probes behind there. And uh, blocking off that patch. Mostly probes would still go all the way around the back to get that patch. But it's going to make their, their distance three times as long. Um, their, their time is three times as long to mine. Um, Looks like he's probably going to cancel that pylon. Yeah, he's going to cancel that pylon since it was mostly dead. Would have been killed off by that zealot before too long. Might as well save the <coughs> save the minerals by canceling. Robotics facility already going up for free. Um, their robotics facility following up for, for Jangby there. Oh yeah, so anyway, so yeah. Um, then Stork in his OSL finals against uh, Jadong. He was purple the first game, if I recall correctly, and won the first game, and then he was not purple the rest of the series, and he never did win another game, so I was like, wow, he can only win if he's purple. Purple is a powerful color. Red, also a very powerful color for Protoss. Or Zerg, um, actually mostly for Zerg. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Uh, anyway, we got some minor harassment going on here. The second gateway going up for Jang B. Uh, I didn't see if Free had another gateway going up or not. Uh, he could just be going for one gate tech here. We'll be able to, yeah, there he goes. Observatory coming out first. So, a very interesting move. He's only got the single gateway. He's going to be, ha he might have to be a little bit defensive here against these two, um, two gateways. Uh, of, of Jangby, Jangby is going to be able to put out more units early on, but uh, that means that, that Free's tech is going to be out a little bit earlier as well. Although, uh, Jangby has actually skipped the observatory and gone straight for the support bay, so um, it could turn out in Jangby's favor actually, and again, I'm hoping it does. Um, because he's skipping the observatory, you need the observatory kind of as a scout to see what the other guy's doing. But also, in case there's a DT rush, you have observers out in time. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, and one of the reasons we saw uh, Jang B uh, go for, I'm sorry, free go for the observatory is we, well, I guess it could go either way. Yeah, Jang B didn't really have a good scout in free space either, so. But sometimes if you don't scout, you go for the observatory first just to make sure. But if you have a good scout in there, and, uh, you don't, and you see the robo robotics facility go down, then you don't have to go for the observatory as quickly because uh, then you know there's not going to be PTs um, coming out. And, and you might still get the observatory earlier so you can scout and see what kind of forces they have. But um, you can go away. Anyway, Jamie putting a little bit of pressure on, interestingly, with uh, a few Dragoons. I didn't see if. Maybe he has a range, and uh, Free doesn't have range yet, uh, so that might be why he's putting pressure on them. Both players are actually going to have their reavers about the same time. Uh, <coughs> since, uh, yeah, they're going to have their reavers about the same time. Jamie has not been producing a lot of Dragoons, as I thought he might have if he had two, uh, two gateways going on there. But um, he is going to have reavers out about the same time as, uh, as Free. Maybe a little bit, yeah, about the same time. Because he uh, hit the squeeze in that observer, so it's pretty much the same time. And, then the squeezed in. Um, and actually, I thought I just saw observers for Jangby, so maybe he got an observatory first also. I could have just been tripping. Um, I thought I... Uh, I haven't seen an observatory for him. Could be wrong. Anyway, Free uh, looks like he's moving out. Yeah, there's a purple observer uh, wandering around, so he definitely has observers out, so never mind. So, uh, things are even. Yeah, there's the observatory. Okay, I'm on crack. Um, <coughs> Jangby um, now has a lot of Dragoons. He's moving out with some Dragoons. A bunch of Dragoons, a couple Zealots, uh, one or two Zealots, and he's got his Reaver coming around the, from the side. I think it's going to get spotted so it looks like, actually no, that may be Jangby's own pylon at the left side there, at the top left, to spot things going on. He's moving his observer around, he sees those Dragoons in place, so he's not going to go after the location after all, he's just going to bring his shuttle back around and tackle his main force towards the, um, the uh, natural expansion of, uh, and it looks like he's got shuttle speed upgraded already as well. Wow, so he could be thinking about dive bombing in there with his shuttle and, and trying to nuke those probes, um, and maybe attacking from the other side at the same time, but yeah, this is what I was going to say is what he can also do is since Free is forced to be um, defensive in that kind of situation, um, Jangby can take map control and take an expansion and be safe with that expansion. Um, since uh, Free, where is Free's army? I know Free had more Dragoons than that, I thought. Um, now he's got two Reavers in that shuttle and he's going to try and put down an expansion as well. Um, is what it looks like, maybe, maybe. Um, Jangby is pushing in. Oh, his other Dragoons are back in the back of his base, so his front is definitely not defended. He's going to be able to pop out those rivers. Looks like he's going to try and break. Oh, no, 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 not quite. He's just, luckily, he falls back at just the, just the last moment there before committing to that um, that ramp break. Um, and the shuttle's chasing each other now. Um, he sees that shuttle. He's chasing um, Free's shuttle around. I'm not sure why Free is decided. Well, obviously, never mind. He's, he's decided to turn because now Jamie knew where he was and knew he could defend that. Um, Jamie appears to have fallen his army back. Again, I'm sorry. For some reason, this is only in um, low quality mode um, from what I'm, what I'm watching right now. Right now, so I can't see the minimap too clearly, but it looks like um, uh, Jangby has fallen his army back a little bit. Oh, catching a few of uh, Freeze Dragoons out in the open there. Picks one off, trying to pursue the other. Shuttle coming back to reinforce his army there. Free, I'm sorry, Jangby dropping his Reavers out. Is going to get any Scarabs off? No, Free sees those Reavers and falls back um, before any Scarabs can go off. Jangby has his expansion up now. Um, Freeze is going up now. Uh, so Jangby's going to take a little bit of an advantage there. He's going to have a little bit better macro. I think he has a larger army anyway. And he has a little bit of an uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say technical advantage, but um, now Free has a little bit of the high ground. He's going to have to go down to the low ground if he's going to attack though oh oh if he's going to be oh he's going to try and nuke those one scare goes off on both of 
um, freeze Reavers, so both of his Reavers are hurt. He can still use that shovel to protect them, but one more Scarab going off on either of them would kill them. Also means he's going to be.